and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Chicago Cubs and the San Diego Padres. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton. I'm John Shomby. And Singy, we're going to see a nice little win streak put to the test today. Yeah, these guys are really firing on all cylinders right now. And to me, the important thing is that they're doing the little things well. They're not just relying on home runs or big plays every game. They're playing good situational baseball, executing in key areas. And that's how you string together wins. So we'll see if they continue that in this one. Just about set to go. And today on the hill, Michael Waka. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Yeah, this guy's been real stingy, man. Not allowing guys to play the game, just keeping them at home played. I mean, just ridiculous. Sub one whip. I mean, he's dominating hitters. And a guy like this in the mound, one of the elite starters in the game right now. Just inside the line, and it's down for a now. The throw in. Not in time. He's got a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Ian Happ up to hit. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. The pitch. Got it by him for the K. Here's Nico Horner. Struggling a little bit in this series. He's two for 12. And that one is in for a strike. Chris, it's always interesting to me to see a guy like Nico Horner, who wasn't drafted out of high school and then out of Stanford, was a first round pick. That's some serious growth as a player. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. So back to back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Berg, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Grisham makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back, and our pitcher in this game, Julian Merriweather. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Yeah, he gave up several earned runs his last time out. I think command is a huge issue for him, and oh, fastball command. He's got to trust it. He's got good velocity. Attack hitters with it in this one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Come back to the mound. Toss to Mancini. One gone, bottom half of the first. Juan Soto now homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. And first offering is fouled off. Just ball. off the Back inside the edge. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. One down, base is empty. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And now it's Manny Machado. That one ripped. It bangs off the wall. The throw into second. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. We played an inning. No score. Back here at the ballpark. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Ripped on the ground a second. Kim with the throw to first. And Bellinger is out. Now the third baseman, Christopher Morrell. And a foul ball. Singy, this kid's quite a story. Super talented. Maybe as good an arm as the Cubs have on their team defensively. One of their fastest players. He debuted at 22 years old after having played 10 games above double A. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Jan Gomes. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Three for 11 in the series coming in. Dives, and he can't hang on. And he beats it. He's safe. Trey Mancini now. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Runner in scoring position now. Got him swinging. That ends the frame. Two left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in San Diego. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. And here it comes. Counts one and oh. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff guys have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. Oh. Tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the Matt, second. The designated hitter, Matt. Matt. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Right now with more RBIs than anyone in the National League. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Hap moving under it. He's got it. And there's two away. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And that one is lifted in the air. Bellinger makes the grab. Three up, three down. For and welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Dansby Swanson stands in. Bunting for a hit, oh, and it incredible. goes just foul. Dansby Swanson's turned into one of the best defensive shortstops in baseball, Chris. And a lot of the help came from Ron Washington, but Dansby put in the work. And there's one down. And now Ian Happ. That Aye. one's in there, 0 1. Happ getting to start in left, 28 years old, and he won a gold glove last season. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Swings and misses, struck him out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Top of the third, no score. And it's one and nope. one. That's inside. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Now he'll turn it for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Wisdom, the next to hit, takes ball one. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Cubs lead. Bottom of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Trent Grisham. Merriweather back to work. There's a strike. Grisham, a former Gold Glove winner, hitting seventh in today's lineup. A former first-round pick back in 2015. And fouled off. And 
in the dirt. On to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. First pitch, not close. There's a swing and a miss. Here's a one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. And it's even up. The punch out there. Back to back strikeouts. And now it's Austin Nola. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Two outs. Now that's smacked to right center. Suzuki makes the catch, inning over. Padres down. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Cody Bellinger. In the air to left, down the line. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Grisham settles under it. And it's caught for the out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Gomes in the box now. Take strike one. Off the mark there. And one and one. Bellinger, the runner at second with one away. The next pitch misses. Two and one. Yeah, there's the strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think you yeah. Goes down looking. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Two outs and one in scoring position. Line drive. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for the Cubs. Still no score. Back here at Petco Park. And here comes Sander Bogarts. And a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Now the youngster Juan Soto. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Struck out swinging his first time. The 1 0. Swing and a miss. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. The 1 1 is fouled off with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here the one two two ball two strikes swings and misses struck him out some high cheese for strike three here's Manny Machado now Manny Machado Ball one, no strikes. Chris Machado is a guy who impacts the game with his bat. He's got big-time power, but what about the defense? He hasn't only won a gold glove, multiple gold gloves, but he's also won a platinum glove as the best defender at any position in his league. Swings and misses. 
and the count is one and two. And one thing about Machado is that he's always been great defensively. It's not something that came along later after he established his bat. The defense was there from day one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That fires up the home crowd. His 26th of the year. It's 2-0. always wants to miss down if he's going to miss with the breaking ball pretty good pitch but just a really good swing on it he stayed down he got through it and he got rewarded two outs nobody on and next is the designated hitter Matt Carpenter swing and a miss 1-1 And that is cut on and missed. And it's nothing in two. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. Got him swinging. Two across on this San Diego homer. And it's two zip. You're watching Padres baseball on the show San Diego. All set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Hey. There's a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And out number one on the grab. Swanson in the box again, takes a strike. Dansby Swanson this is a guy who kind of had a target on his back number one overall pick out of Vanderbilt people were expecting a whole lot comparing him to Derek Jeter and a swing and a miss and now two gone thought it was a pretty good pitch top of the strike zone we're seeing more fastballs in that location hitters especially with two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger Next offering is in for a strike. Swanson with an outstanding career at Vanderbilt. Won the 2014. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The pitch. Ball one there. Bounce to the right. Corner. On the run. Throw to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. 0 for 1 so far. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Strike two. Foot slider ties him up, struck him out. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. All set for the top of the sixth. So up now for Chicago, Nico Horner. That one's in there, and that's strike one. Horner, a guy who grew up in the Bay Area, was a huge fan of those late 80s, early 90s Oakland A's teams with Ricky Henderson and company. And Nico loved getting a chance to not only go watch Oakland play, but also the San Francisco Giants. To the right side, Kim. Over to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Wisdom batted with one down, takes a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Nope, Next ball. one misses, and it's one and two. A wind in the pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Righty delivers. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Got him. Two down. In there, and it's 0 1. Bellinger in his seventh season, 27 years old. And he's a former Rookie of the Year. Going to now. Pulls the string with the changeup. Struck him out. Three up, three down. Back here in San Diego. Bottom of the six. Stepping in for San Diego, Austin Nola. And the right-hander back to work. Fought off foul. At the belt and fires. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Mancini makes the grab one down. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. One for two. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Banks off the wall. Bogarts into second. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Liner snagged it first. Yikes, that ball was scorched. An absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Machado in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Hayden Wisniewski getting ready to go. Hendricks getting loose as well. Riding to the plate. Lifted in the air right center field. Suzuki snags it on the run. Padres leave one. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Oh, one's the count. And that's through there for a strike. 0-2 oh, count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off-speed away. Swing and a miss. He swung over top of the curveball. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Soto gets under it. Two up, two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. On the ground. And it's through for a hit. And that extends the inning. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Dansby Swanson is going to get a chance to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. In plenty of time to first... And Swanson is set down. Back here at the ballpark, Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Merriweather back to work. And a swing and a miss. Let's go one more time, baby. Bounce to third. 
dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. Here comes the manager out of the cup. New pitcher now, Hayden Wisniewski. And we all know about his slider. It's just You're filthy, it. man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Hayden Wisniewski. Now at the plate, Matt Carpenter. Tatis runs. Gomes, great throw. Caught stealing. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. 1-1 one, one now. Two balls, one strike. In the air to left center. Hat moving under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Jake Cronenworth getting ready to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. That's inside. Now two balls and a strike. On a line, base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That's ripped to right down the line. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that Welcome back. Digging in is the switch inning out. Fielder Ian Hat. Luis Garcia will take over here. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Garcia. A one down. Swing and a miss. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Bogarts with the throw to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And next for the Cubs, Nico Horner. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just off the outside edge. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And here it comes. And a strike in there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. And the righty deals. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. This one in the air center field. Grisham settles under it. Makes the play, and that's out number three. Cubs are down. Advert Alzala on a pitch here. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Next pitch has popped up. Mancini makes the grab one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Nola. And a foul ball. And he'll one. 
And it's fouled away. Kicks and fires. And Whoa. now one and two. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Michael Rucker throwing and getting ready for David Ross. To the right side. Mancini takes it to the bag. And a couple of quick no outs. And here is Xander Bogarts. First offering and it just misses. Bogarts who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Ground ball up the middle. Sneaks through, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Here's Juan Soto. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for San Diego. Back here. At Petco Park. Bellinger up to hit. So a lefty out of the pen. Josh Hader. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. The pitch. And a big swing and a miss. And now two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lost the handle on that one. Hader goes six feet, three inches, 28 years old. And he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Got him looking for the K. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Now it's Jan Gomes. First pitch, just misses. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. And that one missing low. Just missed. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, another night, another win. This team is a must watch right now. Even if it goes late, there's a rain delay, extra innings. People are going to stay up late to see this streak continue. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.